Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make an abstract sci-fi city. This is going to be a looping animation, so it's going to be really fun with Anne. So let's get into the tutorial. If you want to see this loop more, you can head over to my Instagram and watch this. It just seamlessly loops here on Instagram. This is my profile. You can go and follow me and send me some of your work. If you do this render, it'd be really cool to see that. So let's get into the tutorial. All right, so we're going to be using a particle system to make this city. So shift A, add a plane. I'm going to hit S8, scaled up by 8. And let's go ahead and make our first particle. That's going to be with a cube. So let's take this guy and bring him over here. And let's hit tab. Go up here to face select. And we're going to select this top face. And then right here, click inset faces. I'm going to inset it like that. I'm going to extrude it up by hitting E. And bring it about the same size as the box down here. And we're just going to repeat that process until we get however high we want our city to be. All right, now we have our first particle. I'm just going to take this guy and extrude him down a little bit. And now we have our first city. Now I'm going to duplicate this guy one more time because later on in the design, we are going to be picking a different color for one of the buildings. But for now, let's take this guy. I'm going to go over here to the camera icon and switch it to the EV render engine. We're going to be using that. So I'm going to go over here and add some materials to this building. So I'm going to hit Z, look dev, and let's go add a metallic material to this guy. Click new make it metallic. I'm going to add a metallic material to this plane right here, just really quick, metallic, and make it pretty dark. Okay, so let's take this guy here, and we're going to hit tab. Just select this face here, and I want to select all the faces that are facing upward. How do you do that? Well, so you go over here to select, select similar, you click normal, and now you've selected all the faces that are going upward. So I want to add lights to these faces. So I'm going to click this plus icon here in the materials, click new and emission. And I'm going to make this guy red and I'm going to give it a strength of 20 and making sure that they're still selected. Click assign and boom. Now we have red faces on this guy and I'm going to do the same thing to this one, but I'm going to add a blue material. All right. Now I have my two buildings that we're going to be working with. So let's go into adding the particle system to this plane. So I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to subdivide it by 100, just like that. And let's go ahead and add our first particle system. So go to the particle systems here, hit the plus icon and click hair. Right here on render, we're going to be rendering an object. So I'm going to select this first cube here for that. So go down here to object and click cube. All right, there's all our buildings, but they're facing downward. So we need to fix that. So let's take these two guys and in our particle system, click object rotation. And we're going to take our object here and just figure out which way it needs to rotate. Looks like this way. So 90 degrees on the Y axis is what it needs. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing to this one. Now, as you can see, it's cutting these buildings in half. And that's because this is where the anchor point is located. And to fix anchor points on, on objects, you can, you can see this is where the anchor point is right here. So I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to hit A, making sure everything's selected. Click right here, the move tool, and bring the anchor point here to the bottom of our building. And now they're all here at the top. And let's do the same thing to this one. Bring it here to the bottom of our building. Perfect. All right, now let's add some variation and some fun with these guys. So go back to the particle system settings, and let's hit scale randomness. And let's bring the scale up by quite a bit and bring the scale randomness. Now we have this pretty interesting, very blown out city. On our animation, we have this really cool sphere here in the middle. So let's do that. But first, we don't want any of these buildings actually touching the sphere. So how do you tell them to not be here in the middle? Well, make sure your plane is selected. Up here at object mode, go to weight paint. So now you have this weight painting, and that's, this is making vertex groups. So I'm going to bring the radius up pretty big, and I'm just going to click here at the top. Boom, right there in the middle. And I'm going to do it a little bit more just like that. So now we'll go out back into object mode, and let's go back to the particle system. Right here on vertex groups, on density, click group. And then if it does this, it bunches them here in the middle. Click this arrow and it inverts that. And now there are no buildings going to be in the center. So we can go ahead 
and add our sphere. So I'm gonna just subdivide him so he's smooth, bring him all the way to 10 cuts, bring him up, scale it, and bring him up just like that and scale him a little bit more. And now we have our, our evil sphere. All right, let's go ahead and make the animation for this. So we're gonna add, first thing we're gonna do is add a curve, a circle curve, and let's get a camera. Bring our camera here. So now our camera is right there. Keeping the camera selected, we're gonna go over here to the constraints, object constraint, constraint, follow path, and we're gonna select this circle. Now, if we go on offset, you can see it'll go in a perfect circle. But the problem is we need this camera to watch the sphere and make sure it just stays in a circle and it tracks the sphere. So let's take our Bezier circle here. We're gonna bring it up scale, up, scale it out all the way like this, just like that. And let's bring that circle back in. And we need to add something so that it can, we need to tell the camera to watch something. So we're gonna go to Shift A and we're gonna add an empty plane axis. And we're gonna bring it here right in the middle. And we, this is gonna be the object that the camera tracks to. So we click on our camera, go back to the object constraints and click track two. And then right here on target, click that empty. And then now we have to go ahead and switch up these X, Y, and Z values so it'll point at our empty. So we'll just play around with them until he is actually pointing the correct spot. And then right here in the X, looks like it might need to be Y. Perfect, so for me it's negative Z and Y. And so when we go up here to the follow path and go on offset, it tracks perfectly to our sphere. Right here, I'm gonna keep it at 250 frames. I'm gonna right click on offset, insert keyframe, go to the very end, and I'm gonna skip a frame to 251. We're gonna hit the right arrow. That'll make it a perfect loop so it doesn't have a duplicate frame. So click that, and then we'll go to 100. That makes it a perfect circle. Insert keyframe, and now you can see it'll be following it perfectly. I have a quick problem here. I need to go up to edit preferences and change an animation, change my keyframe interpolation to linear because what right now the animation starts off slow and then speeds up. And then when I go here to the end, it'll slow down and stop. And we don't want that. So I'm gonna clear these keyframes and redo it with that linear keyframe interpolation. So now the animation starts off. We'll go here to the end, make sure it loops seamlessly. Yeah, so now it's a perfect loop. I'm gonna go over here in my camera settings and make my focal length quite a bit wider, kind of like that. And we'll go back here to flat view. And now we have a perfect animation here on our city. Now let's go ahead and add that variation of the bigger ones and the much, much smaller ones. And that's with another particle system. So these are gonna be the big ones. So I'm gonna go back to the particle system and make it much, much smaller, maybe about that many just like that. And then I'm gonna move my camera down a little bit. Just, just like this. Of course, when I move down the Bezier circle, the camera will still be looking at that empty, which is fine. You can move the empty if you want the camera to look down farther. So, and I'm gonna make this guy a bit bigger. And so now he's moving around. Now we have the big buildings. Let's add the much smaller buildings. So we're gonna go back to our plane and add a second particle system. So hit the plus icon, hair, and let's go over to path, make it an object just like last time and click cube one. And that's gonna be the new cube and click object rotation and then make them smaller. We'll make scale randomness again and then scale them down a little bit. So now we have those smaller ones. Actually, I think the current scale is just fine. And now we have the much bigger buildings and the really small buildings. So now let's just quickly add some lights to make this scene pop. So go to add a light point. I'm gonna leave this one here at the bottom and I'm gonna bring my circle up a bit and let's add another light. So we're gonna take this light here, shift D and duplicate it and bring it all the way up. So it's pointing there and let's add some volume. So shift A, bring a cube, hit S, A, just like that. I'm gonna scale them up more until it passes up the camera. We're gonna add a new material, principled volume. Principled volume here, I'm gonna go over to the node editor. I'm gonna go over here to the node editor. 
So we can see right here in the shading tab, switch it from surface to volume and give it a density of 0 0.1, enter. And then as you can see, now we have some pretty sweet volume going on just like we want. Now let's just increase the strength of our lights. I'm gonna make this top one blue here and give it a strength of 30. And this bottom one here, we'll make it red and give it a strength of 30 as well. So now it has some pop. I'm gonna take this, bring it up some more and scale it down so we can see that highlight down there at the bottom. So this is the animation so far, but our circle here is missing some cool stuff to go on with it. So let's go over here to the shading tab. We'll add a new material. We'll make it metallic. Let's go down here and add a bump node. And we're gonna add two nodes to give it some really cool pattern detail. So plug it into the normal. We're gonna add a Voronoi, just like that. Actually, it's just one node. So we're gonna add a Voronoi node. You can see it makes it dented and bumpy. We're gonna change it for in intensity to cells. Bring up that scale quite a bit and go from distance to Chebyshev. Now we have these cool techy looking now we have these cool techy looking bumps and scratches. And now we can go around and we can see it. And now we have this really cool, really awesome city that you can play around with. Go ahead and add some other stuff if you want. Change around the settings, make it yours, have some fun. And again, if you want to see again, if you want to send it to me, you can send it here on my Instagram. I'd love to see you guys work. And there you go. Thanks for watching the tutorial.